Before we start making measurements of modulated carriers from transmitters, let's start off by making a few simple measurements from this MXG signal generator I have here, uh, which is generating a 2.4 GHz CW, in other words, unmodulated RF signal. So if we know what frequency the signal is, we can simply press frequency and enter, in this case, 2.4 GHz. That tunes the signal to the center of the screen. I can then press the span button and using the down arrow keys, I can zoom in on the signal. And I can press the amplitude button and change the reference level, again using the arrow keys to bring the signal to the top of the graticule. And then I can press the marker button and I can read the amplitude value of the signal, approximately minus 20 dBm. Now, if we don't know the frequency of the signal, there's another way we can do this. So I'll press the green preset button to preset the instrument again. And this time I'm going to press shift marker peak. That will put a marker on the uh, highest frequency, the highest signal on the display. And I can then press the marker button and press marker to center frequency. So that has now tuned that 2.4 gigahertz signal to the center of the screen. You can see here it says 2.404 gigahertz. So it's roughly in the center of the screen and I didn't need to know what the frequency of it was. Once again, we can press the span button and use the arrow keys to zoom in. We can then more accurately place the marker on the top of that signal. Now we've zoomed in, so shift, peak, and again we can go marker, marker to center frequency. Now there's a couple of other useful marker features we ought to take a look at while we're doing this. If I press the marker button again, you'll see first of all, we've got up to six markers that we can have turned on at the same time. Currently, uh, the marker mode is set to normal for marker one. Uh, if I press the mode button, you'll see we can have a delta marker. Uh, this can be quite useful. So if I press delta, instead of the marker saying 2.4 gigahertz, I'll press the button now. It now says that marker one or the delta marker one is now zero hertz and zero dB. And if I turn the knob, you'll see a second or delta marker comes away from the main marker. And we can see now that, for example, at a 4.7 megahertz offset, the difference in amplitude is minus 42 or whatever dB. So that's very helpful for measuring relative signal levels between, say, a main carrier signal and one of its harmonics, or in this instance, a carrier and the noise floor. Talking of noise floor, if I press the marker button again and press marker function, you'll see I can select a noise marker. Now, you'll know that if you're measuring carrier to noise ratio, it's no good just saying that the carrier to noise ratio is 50 dB because the noise floor can be different according to Boltzmann's law, depending on which resolution bandwidth setting I've selected. I can set that noise floor to almost any value I want. So normally when expressing uh, noise values or carrier to noise ratios, we express the noise floor measurement in a uh, normalized bandwidth, normalized typically to one hertz. So having pressed the noise function marker, you can now see that the carrier to noise ratio, the difference between the two is about 122 dBm per hertz. In other words, it's normalized the level of this noise floor down to as if we were using a one hertz resolution bandwidth filter. You'll also see there are other marker functions for things like band power and demodulation. Um, one I like very much is the counter marker. If I just go back to normal first of all, and if I just press the mode from delta back to normal. Okay, so we're back to measuring our, I'll go shift, shift peak. We're now measuring our 2.4 gig signal again. And if I press the marker key and go function and turn on counter, this is now turned on a very accurate one hertz resolution frequency counter that's built into the spectrum analyzer. And you can now see that with the counter active, the marker is now called C1 instead of M1, and it's measuring the frequencies being 2.4, oh, 0000714 or 715 gigahertz. Unlike a standalone frequency counter instrument that can only measure one frequency at a time, uh, this, of course, uh, can be used to measure uh, any frequency within a spectrum of carriers. You just line the marker up which, with whichever signal you wish, and it will apply the frequency counter to that carrier. If you'd like further information on these products, 
including demonstration guides, operating manuals or application notes, please visit the website shown below.